Hey comrades, so yeah, I'm uh, hiding behind here. I'm at Los Barilis at uh, Playa Norte. It's like a sort of expat camping uh, RV uh, van life or kind of hangout place. Uh, like some people live here kind of permanently almost. That was one of the comments on Everlander app by one of the Spanish dudes. It's like, man, but those gringos are just too bold now. It's like, almost feels like set up refugee camp in here or something like that uh, in, in a foreign country. I wanted to fly a drone right now. Just an hour ago as I was making coffee, everything. The weather was okay, but now the clouds came in. It's semi-stormy. The wind is huge. Like, wind gusts are so big move my door here my rotopax so even to speak right now i have to hide inside for my boom mic to actually work so you know <laughs> you can actually hear me not in the wind but today's plan is uh, cabo pulmo i'm gonna spend most of the day there hopefully weather clears up probably not i was hoping for sun so that's what Playa Norte looks like. It's definitely a nice place yeah, and plus you have your sort of Canadian-American comrades to hang out with. If you're staying here for like a month or two, you can make, fr make friends. But uh, I'm gonna head out to Las Barillas and keep heading to Palma, uh, Cabo Palmo. And I'll show a little bit of a town right now, that Las Barillas. Right here at at Pemex and it's time to head out. It's 11 o'clock, I should be there by noon. But unfortunately, yeah, it's probably not gonna be a warm swim. Clouds, clouds and wind. Well, hopefully it's better down south. I don't know how it is getting to Cabo Pulmo from south, but as soon as you reach the sign Cabo Pulmo and uh, uh, the green area, sort of when Google starts, like, uh, you know, the border of uh, the park, the pavement stops and it becomes this crazy board, board wash. Well, it's not crazy, I've seen worse, but it's pretty bad. I mean, any vehicle can get here, two-wheel drive, whatever, like small little cars, it's not an issue. It's just board wash. So, at the gas station I pumped it up, tires, and what, I've driven maybe half an hour now, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, back to like 37 or something from like 45. Alright, here we are, Cabo Pumo. Mm, definitely not what I expected as far as look of the town. But let's see what's so authentic about it. Because that's the advertisement. It's like well preserved little town, barely any technology, all that stuff. Okay, so some kind of welcome center. That's a restaurant bar. We got some drinks here. Where are they from? Alaska. Wow. 
all the way, there you go. So it's Cabo Pulma Water Sports. So again, now a place for you to give lots of money to someone. It is like, it is a very, very tiny town. Like pretty much, that's it. I've reached the end of it. And now there's like a little loop around it. Lots of eco, eco adventures, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to scuba dive, snorkeling, this is definitely the place. Uh, I guess you can take out uh, tours to, uh, you know, swim out there in the boat. But I just want to do it off for sure. Uh, but it, it is chilly, it is very windy. It's not sunny anymore. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna swim. Like I took flippers and mask and everything for this place. But I didn't catch it at a good day. So, oh my God. This is kind of the end of the town here, end of the line. There is probably, okay, snorkel tour, another snorkel tour. Probably another snorkel tour. And this is tours information. And by the beach, this is exactly what I want, what I need. I'm gonna have a cerveza. So beast is parked away. This is Cabo Pulmo. It's totally touristy, that's for sure. But let's see what I can do here for free actually. So here's all the activities you can do right at Cabo Pulmo on the beach. You can uh, scuba dive, I guess, or snorkel. I guess you can take uh, eco tours. They drive you to one of these coral reef little islands. Down here on the southern portion, it's all kayaking heaven, I assume. These are the signs, kayak, 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 all of it here. And uh, so yeah, El Playa El Arborito, the signs that said, and uh, Los Reales, two little like villages, towns, whatever, it's campgrounds in there of some kind. It said on the sign that Cabo Pulmo is about 5,000 years old, coral reef. It's uh, local villagers decided to trade in sort of their uh, fishery activities uh, to actually attract tourism. So they completely switched off. This has been protected area since 1995. And uh, it's part of UNESCO World Heritage. It's, uh, it's one of the most well-preserved uh, coral, coral reefs in the world, apparently. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be no drone flying. The wind here is huge. I'm just uh, not lucky, because I really wanted to... Because the, the water here is turquoise, kind of Caribbean, uh, almost like. So I wanted to fly with you down below and actually capture that with some reefs down below. Not gonna happen, unfortunately. But let's see what the water is actually like. Is it warm? Is it, uh, is it cold? I bet it's cold. Like, a little bit more and I would wanna wear a hoodie with this wind. Otherwise, it's, it's warm. It's just unlucky day. It's okay, -ish. It's, uh, it's not bad. Uh, but I would want sun once I get out. <laughs> All right, so I think it's time to hit the restaurant, have a beer and then figure out what the hell I want to do around here. Just as I and a couple of our guys walked into this restaurant, there you go. Amazing. Well, I see something in the fridges, but it's, what the hell, where is the restaurant? going on here just want to sit down so yeah all the restaurants well there is only like two or three are deeper in the town there's nothing by the sea here like by the shore that one is closed so I just uh, I'm like well too bad I guess I'm not leaving my money here just went into my car grabbed cold Pacifico it is what it is man this is definitely not what I expected I thought it would be a bit more exciting Maybe the weather screwed it up. But still, like not even functional restaurants on the shore. Like what, what, what's going on? Not enough tourists or? Uh, this place is definitely, it's probably awesome. 
But if you're scuba and snorkeling and maybe taking some of these tours as is, just arriving by car, expecting something to do on the shore, doing like a little bit of snorkeling here. Phew, I've seen better places. I'm gonna check out map. Uh, I'll see El Choro, Hot Springs. Maybe if it makes sense to give it a push today there. Or maybe just take it easy and camp out at the beginning of the beach. I saw a couple of overland vehicles there parked behind the bushes. Maybe do that. But it's all windy, like, I need to make a decision if I want to stay here or not. So it's some kind of dive center, but also I guess a restaurant on top. So I'll just stop for like ceviche or something like that. Probably extremely overpriced for tourists. Well, there's pretty much nothing else here. Good dog, You're good doggy. Yeah, so friendly. Oh my God. Whew, that lunch was delicious. 17 bucks, that's a beer and three empanadas with seafood. Octopus, shrimp, all that good stuff. It's actually not too bad, like I'm, I feel full. So I checked out a place north of this town, Cabo, where I saw a couple of overland rigs. There's a little bit of a walk from that area. Uh, it's unofficial. Um, it used to be like official RV park, but now it's not anymore, but people still park there. And uh, north of it, supposedly a snork snorkeling place you can walk to. Uh, but someone commented on Iverlander that, you know what, like two days that we stayed there, one day was windy, one not, and I lucked out on a windy day. And they said, all, all in all, go to Las Boril, Ab La Saborillo, something like that, uh, Barillo, it's uh, just south, uh, five kilometers or something uh, village, uh, it's more established campground, I think you pay something like uh, uh, 150 pesos for a stay, it's like whatever, I may as well pay, uh, but overall it's much better experience, they said, so let's uh, check it out. Also some information online and on the billboards, it says that this village managed to preserve uh, with its like sort of authentic Mexican feel. I completely disagree. There is nothing really authentic here uh, from what I can see. I've seen way more authentic places in Mexico than this, little towns. Just passing by, driving. Even let's say take San Ignacio, like tiny little town. Well, I don't know if you can consider it a village. Like, some people may consider it a village, really, because it's like tiny in the middle of Baja. It's got its uh, that little, like middle square kind of. It's uh, that feel felt more authentic than this, unless they mean authentic, more authentic like fishing village. But still, I like I don't see any of that authenticism here. It's some restaurants, some bars, some eco tours things, and some uh, relatively nice houses. It's definitely westernized. So I'm at Los Arbolitos, five kilometers down south from uh, Cabo Pulmo, and it's 40 bucks to enter this territory right here, or 60 bucks to camp. I'm not gonna push anywhere, I just feel like camping. I wanna stay, I wanna still do some snorkeling. Uh, uh, noche. Yeah, yeah. So showers here, these are toilets restaurant around the corner there and snorkeling to the right on this beach let's see if i can get uh, right on the beach there somehow oh i guess this is it kind of that's pretty much it i can't drive any further holy wind super super windy I was contemplating to go to El Choro, but I really don't feel like driving anymore today. I don't want to get there at, uh, when it's dark, 
So I figured, you know what, whatever, camp out here. Yeah, not ideal. Paid 60 pesos, right? Like, like I'm not even facing for the first time in a long time the view because it's too much wind from the other side. But I feel like just chilling. I don't, I don't want to drive anymore. And I still, even though it's coldish, I do want to try swimming here with a mask and everything. <laughs> These guys are certainly annoying here. Oh man, I feel so lazy now. I just kind of got in, closed my eyes and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do anything. But I can't stay here tomorrow, so Whew, I gotta change clothing, pack the bag with stuff, uh, snorkeling gear and uh, do the hike to the right of here. Probably, I think it's a 20 minute hike or something like that to the really good snorkeling spot. Gonna bite the bullet with the cold and wind. Just go for snor snorkeling. But uh, so, so such a siesta time right now because of lunch probably. Siesta. Oh man, I totally fell asleep. That was a good siesta. Haven't daydreamed in a in a while. Kind of sucks I missed hiking and doing whatever over here. But at the same time, hey, I need rest too. It's a vacation, whatever. If I need siesta, I need siesta. But uh, golden hour, sun is about to go down, so it's time to show what it's like over there. Because, I, well, I already seen it, I just didn't go with camera. Day to day turned out to be completely not what I envisioned, but that siesta was needed. I think what I'll try to do tomorrow, wake up and first thing, if it's not windy, if it's okay-ish, uh, then go snorkeling right away before I leave this place. And if it's like it's today, well, I'm just gonna leave the place. I'm gonna probably go down to Cabo San Jose, maybe uh, uh, do a little bit of Cabo San Lucas and then actually jump back in the middle into uh, El Choro hot springs like closer to the evening or before it's dark but yeah, till tomorrow Hey comrades, don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet, you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it so you can actually get my video updates both in notification and your video feed 
And as well, you can support this channel if you like my videos through PayPal or Patreon in the links down below or just after this video.